Welcome back. It's time for a snack. One thing you should always have on hand whenever you are spending a lot of time outdoors is something refreshing to drink. Water is great. El agua es excelente. But I know of something even tastier. Something with fresas and miel and rosas frescas. Yummy. I can't wait for you to taste it. If you can't find roses growing in your garden or wild roses at your favorite foraging spot, then you can always check with your local farmer's market or buy them online from a trusted apothecary. The roses at the florist shop or in the grocery store have often been given a squirt of bug spray to help them along in their growing. You don't wanna eat that stuff. It's very important to know if your roses have been treated with any chemicals before you eat them. Once you know for sure that your roses are edible, you'll need to make a tisane. I'm using an assortment of sweet and aromatic herbs in my brew. Mint, tarragon, lavender, wood sorrel, lemon balm, and of course, rose petals. The beauty of this is that you can use what you have on hand. Lots of flowers are edible, but you should always double check before making anything to eat or drink with them. Once your tea has brewed in the sun for about an hour, we can strain off the plant material. Now we'll add some chopped strawberries. I'm adding some honey to make it sweet and some rose lemonade to make it fizzy. You can muddle it all together with a fork or pop it in the blender to make an icy flower petal granita. This is the perfect party punch because it has lots of nutrients that quench your thirst. Back in the times when my grandmother grew up on Five Rose Lane, they didn't have the same kind of medicine we have now. Her people relied on the plants growing around them to treat their wounds and to heal their ailments. Roses were one of those plants because it had so many uses and all parts of it could be used. The Empress of Flowers is what they called the beautiful fragrant rose. Her nourishing medicine could make you feel as right as rain, no matter how sad you might have felt before. Today, I'd like to share with you a very special rosy remedy called a flower essence. I first learned about flower essences when my grandmother told me the story of Zeralia, a bright young maiden who spent her time making special elixirs for her neighbors. Zeralia had a gift, you see, of being able to look at a person and know which flower they needed to make them feel better. Zeralia's garden was always bright and abundant with blooms. A daisy for Mr. Frogmore, Lantana for the Pomoneer family, and Iris for the children of Sunbeam Mountain. Zeralia's elixirs were safe enough to be used by anyone, even the occasional dog who knocked over a bottle that had been left open by accident. I should say that flower essences are not meant to treat serious medical injuries. They are gentle remedies for the mind, heart, and spirit. We might find that when we take a little bit of extra care of our thoughts, feelings, and imaginings, we feel a little bit less pain in our bodies too. That's what Zeralia found to be true of her neighbors, and I hope you find that to be true for you too. To make Zeralia's rose petal essence, you'll need fresh water in a glass bowl, fresh rose petals or flowers of your choice, apple cider vinegar or vegetable glycerin, glass jars and bottles of various sizes, tweezers, a mesh strainer, and scissors. When making a healing remedy, it's important to be reverent or kind of serious. Can you think of the last time you went to see the doctor? What did their face look like? Probably they were smiling, but also concentrating and focused. I'm here at the rose bush I'd like to use for my flower essence. I wonder if you can take three deep breaths with me.
Roses are red, dilly dilly, roses are green. When I am king, dilly dilly, you shall be queen. Let the birds sing, dilly dilly, and the lambs play. We shall be safe, dilly dilly, out of harm's way. Lavender's green, dilly dilly, lavender's blue. If you love me, dilly dilly, I will love you. I love to dance, dilly dilly, I love to sing. When I am queen, dilly dilly, you'll be my king. I'm going to carefully cut five beautiful blooms pretty close to the base. Because someone else might need to use this remedy, I don't want to touch the blooms with my hands. So if I need to, I can use the tweezers to transfer them to my bowl. Make sure to leave plenty of blooms on the bush for our pollinator friends to enjoy. Let the blooms take a bath in the glorious strawberry sunlight for three to four hours. Strain the water into your jar and add an equal part of apple cider vinegar or vegetable glycerin. Glycerin makes it a little tastier, although the taste of our final remedy will be hardly noticeable. Flower essences are what we call an energetic remedy which means they are non-toxic and completely safe for all ages and species to use. This is the case because we are going to dilute this mixture twice more. The first batch we made is called the Mother Essence. It will last a long time and yield many stock bottles of Zeralia's Rose Petal Essence. The stock bottle is the second dilution. When we dilute something, we make it thinner, less potent. We'll add 10 drops of the mother essence to this bottle, along with a 50-50 dilution of water and your preservative. That means half water, half vinegar, or glycerin. Lastly, we're ready to make a dosage bottle, which is the most diluted version that is safe for use. Add five drops from your stock essence to another 50-50 dilution of water and preservative in your smallest bottle. This one I have holds about 15 milliliters. You can add a few drops of flower essence to your water or to the flower petal party punch. If you don't want to drink it, you might try putting it in your bath water or into a spray bottle so you can mist yourself when you get too hot outside. You can add it to your lotion or shampoo. There are so many different ways to use flower essences and there are so many different flowers you can use to make them. Just replace the rose petals with the flower of your choice. You can even make tree essences by using the leaves of trees. You might notice over time that different flowers have different effects. That's why Zeralia grew so many different kinds of blooms in her garden. Because just like flowers, people are unique. And there's just no such thing as a one size fits all kind of remedy. After all this party planning, I sure am getting sleepy. I think I'll go on down to the walnut grove and catch a little cat nap under my favorite tree. I hope you'll do something special to celebrate all the hard work you've done this week. And who knows, you might even inspire your neighbors to make the Wildwood Waltz an annual tradition, just like it was on Five Rose Lane. Celebrating all things wild and beautiful is what the spirit of Five Rose Lane is all about. I hope you'll join me again for another adventure. Goodbye to you all and sweet be your day. May angels surround you and watch you at play. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Peace 
love and blessings to you, dear ones. May you always dream a new dream, carry a song in your heart, and spread your joy to others. I love you, and I'll see you again very soon. Adios.